Have you been asked when was the last time you changed your coolant or what type it was filled with? Well, today I'm here to tell you about your vehicle's coolant, what type it is, how to change it, and how to care for it. Hi, my name is Clayton. Let's get started. If there are any sections you'd like to skip or go straight to the DIY portion of this video, check out the chapter links below. What is coolant? In short, coolant keeps your engine cool. It can withstand extreme temperatures all the way up to negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And since metal corrodes when it's exposed to liquid for large amounts of time, there are chemicals in your coolant that keep your engine from corroding. How do you know what type of coolant you need? You can identify what type of coolant your vehicle needs by checking the owner's manual, internet search, or asking a local mechanic. They will usually find the type of coolant compound, IAT, OAT or HOAT, and then be able to guide you accordingly to the type you need to buy. How do you know it's time to change your coolant? If your coolant temperature gauge starts to read slightly higher than the usual, and it's been a long time since the last change, or ever. If there is rust looking particles in the coolant reservoir tank. If the color of the coolant is not consistent with what was put in there in the first place, for example, green coolant fading to a clear desaturated look or changing to yellow or if it reaches the recommended service interval. Now, let's get down to the DIY part of this video. The way a professional auto shop flushes and changes your coolant will be a little different than you might do it at home. This is primarily due to the advanced tools they used. Most will use a machine that can suction all the coolant out of the vehicle, assuring that when new fluid is filled, it will not be mixed. Now, to the DIYer watching this video, use your best judgment and all forms of information available to make sure you do things right. This process I'm about to show you does not utilize a suction machine. So the everyday DIYer should be able to follow along and do this at home. Let's break it down. First things first, safety. Make sure your vehicle is cooled all the way down. You can check this by looking at the temperature gauge in the dashboard of your car. Step two, turn your ignition to the on position without turning on your car. Then with your AC on, turn the temperature to the maximum heat so that you have full flow of all the coolant stored in the heater core. After that part is done, turn the ignition back off. Step three, grab a container or bucket large enough to catch the fluid. Then you're going to open the drain valve at the bottom of your radiator to drain all the coolant into the bucket. If you don't have a drain valve on your radiator, just disconnect the lower hose from your radiator and that will drain the fluid out. Pro tip, this is a great time to replace the coolant reservoir as the plastic components usually crack with time. Next, securely close the drain valves and or coolant hoses. Once that's done, you can proceed to fill the reservoir of the car with coolant. Step five, turn on the car, ideally outside or in the garage with the door open. With the reservoir cap open, turn on the engine and let the car idle until it fully warms up. Once your car is fully up to operating temperature, the coolant thermostat will open and the full system will flow freely. At this point, you know you're on the right track when you see air bubbles coming out of the coolant reservoir tank. And step six, place the cap on the coolant reservoir to properly seal it and you're good to go. We recommend carrying some extra coolant in the trunk of your car for the next week or so after the coolant change, as there might be the possibility of still having air bubbles in the system. To top it off, just wait for the car to cool down completely open the reservoir tank, fill it up with coolant, and seal it up again. And that's it. Those are the steps to flushing and changing the coolant inside your vehicle. 